Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to make a seamless loop for our ambient sound so this loop can start over and over again uh, without any clicks or pops or anything like that. You won't be able to notice when it's starting over. So because I want to preserve the uh, editability of this, I'm going to create a new audio track. And uh, I'm not going to render and then import it. I'm just going to uh, select the internal in or yeah, external in, but then go resampling. Uh, hit the in so the audio goes in. I'll turn that off so we don't hear like a feedback loop kind of thing. And I'll hit the arm for record button here. And uh, what this is doing is this is recording the what Ableton is playing currently. So it's an easy way to kind of just render something in place. And uh, with that being said, I'll render it out. I have to render it in, or I have to record it. I'll record it in real time, and then I'll be able to hop back in and see what's going on. So right now I'm recording. And the city sure is noisy. You hear like buses slowing down. You hear brakes, you hear a bunch of traffic. There you go. Little honk. All right, so uh, there you have it. You have uh, your kind of rendered out thing there. I'm just gonna drag that down, cut that one. And uh, so now we have our audio. And uh, let's see, what do I want to do? I want to go show fades. And let's see, I want to shave off the beginning here and the end there. And I want to, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. That's not what I want to do. I want to get this beginning part kind of playing, move that over, do that, da 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 da. And then get rid of that. And in theory, we won't hear any clicks or pops at this area. So what did I do? I'll attempt to do it again. So this is uh, the recording that I recorded. And we have our beginning part here. I'm going to make that. There. Okay, so the easy way to do this is to take this part right here, psh, drag it over here, psh, right? And uh, I want to fade that in, move that over, have that over there. Right, and then I will, see it starts playing again there, I'll just move that over to there, so in theory. plays on forever. All right. I want to watch that a couple times to truly figure out what's going on. So I have uh, this right here, uh, this kind of uh, loop region. I want to render the loop region. So I'll go file, uh, export audio and video. I'll s save that as whatever. Actually, no, I can't do that yet. What I need to do is render out no, I don't even need to render out this. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So um, I have my, my important audio here. So what I need to do now is uh, filter it out. So let's drop in a high quality filter. Plenty of whatever. So remember when I was saying that um, uh, a lot of things act as high pass filters because low frequencies pass through uh, solid objects because of the long wavelength uh, better than high frequency. High frequencies get trapped in a lot of stuff. So it's definitely gonna get trapped within this window and these walls and uh, the remaining is going to be absorbed throughout the whole apartment. But uh, some are some frequencies, the mid frequencies, are going to get through and then kind of bounce around. Uh, and if you've ever been to glass or whatever, when sound hits it, 
it kind of acts like a uh, membrane. And like all membranes, like speakers and diaphragms and whatever, uh, it has a frequency response. So glass has a frequency response, which is kind of cool. I don't know the science completely, but, you know, yeah. So let's uh, play our gentleman friend here. All right, so let's uh, double click here. We'll make a, a high cut. And we'll bring that down and just kind of imagine. Right, so it's being filtered by the glass around here. I'm sure there's other things, we can, there's formulas we can follow. I'm going to try a different uh, cutoff. Uh, so as you go up in the dB, uh, uh, how many dBs per octave is like the extremity of the cut? I'm just trying to imagine right now. Kind of have a low cut sort of thing going on here. And as you move, and as you move farther away from it, the sound will uh, get kind of quieter. to that just because I can. Because uh, there's a lot of low end being accumulated through these uh, concrete buildings. So yeah, I have that and I'm going to select that region, go uh, export audio and video. Uh, I'm just exporting audio. I'm going to go export. I'm going to go to game idea, sound effects. I'm going to go uh street i'm gonna go ambient ambient street cool uh so go oh one all right so my next one here is uh these horns i'm gonna drag these over here and uh these are going to be just uh, these. This, this doesn't need to be uh, repeating, but uh, let me see. Okay, I need that reverb back in there, so I'll copy the reverb, paste it here. Hmm. Okay, so I'll do this. So this is uh, one of those one of those things where goodbye. Sorry, someone just said goodbye. Uh, so I have uh, this right here. What I want to do is add some uh, a long decay time because those horns are loud and they're gonna be bouncing off. Uh, in my in my mind's eye, they're gonna be bouncing off these buildings and getting kind of big. So. Let's go over here and uh, we're going to need a bit, a bit of reflection over here. This needs to be high passed a lot, actually.
Okay. Let's just let's just go with that. Um we have all that there. Yeah, and I'll just have that like that. Okay, so I'm gonna select this an arbitrary amount. These are different rates, so they'll start playing at the same time, and then they'll get out of uh, out of phase here. And this is just a, a little theory that I put together. Ambient Street Horn underscore oh one. So I might add more horns in, uh, and I might go back and refine uh, the reverb once I get more of a a general space and theory of what's going on uh so yeah i guess in the next video we're going to be dropping these in and uh exploring uh and making a living breathing outside world okay take care and uh have a good one